If you're sweating it out this summer because your AC isn't working, that might be a simple problem that you can fix in just a couple of minutes with a few things from Advance Auto, including some AC refrigerant and some gloves. So without further ado, let's take care of it. So the first step is going to be to pop your hood and then locate your low side AC line. So right over here we can see a big line with a cap on it that's labeled with an L. And this is going to be your low side line. Now in the event that your caps aren't labeled with either an L or an H to indicate low side or high side, an easy way to check is to remove the cap. Uh, pretty much any AC can that you get with a connector like this, this is only going to attach to the low side. You're just going to pop it on. Good snug fit. So we know that this is our low side. Now that we've located the AC low side, we're gonna to wanna to turn the vehicle on and then turn our AC all the way on to full blast. And this is gonna pressurize the AC system and it's going to allow us to suck in the refrigerant. So now we need to prepare this can for use and we're gonna do it by unscrewing this uh, reusable gauge and filler line. And then we're gonna take off this little plastic spacer right here. And this is just to make sure that the can doesn't get pierced while it's in storage. You're not going to need this anymore. And then we are going to reattach the gauge and filler line to the can. And as we do this, we're going to pierce into the can. So at this point, the can is open. So you don't want to take this gauge back off until the can is completely empty. Otherwise, you're going to have a refrigerant mess on your hands. So I need to put some gloves on just to make sure that I protect my hands because refrigerant is super nasty stuff. Now we are ready to start working. All right, so now that we have our gloves on, we are in the home stretch. We're gonna to wanna to reconnect this connector to our low side line. And then we have a gauge. And once we connect it, it's gonna tell us on the gauge exactly how much refrigerant we have in our system. If it's all the way in the red, there's a chance that you don't actually have your AC turned on. Make sure that your AC is turned on, otherwise you'll get a reading in the red. If your reading is all the way low, that means exactly what we thought it does. You don't have enough refrigerant in your system and you need to start to fill it up. The way we're gonna do that is pretty simple. You're just gonna to start to squeeze on this trigger here and you're gonna rotate the can from 12 o'clock to nine o'clock back and forth. You're gonna to wanna to add refrigerant in short bursts. So pull the trigger, hold it for a couple seconds, rotate the can and let go. You don't wanna accidentally overfill your system. After every burst, you're gonna to want to check your level again and wait for it to get into the green. So once this gauge tells you that you are in the green zone, you're good, you can stop now. You don't wanna to top off a little bit extra as that might cause your AC system to just cut out entirely. So we're gonna disconnect this. Make sure to put the cap back on the low side line. And now we are going to take the car out for a quick spin and make sure that our AC is cool now. At this point, your AC should feel nice and cool. If not, it's possible that there's some kind of other issue that's going on with your AC system that you'll want to take the car to a professional mechanic so that they can figure it out. But if that has in fact solved the problem, your AC is now nice and cool, congratulations. Uh, great job, thank you for watching, and remember to think ahead and think advanced.